All right, today is the day, y'all. We finally kind of have new music from Blackpink because Sour Candy is out. And it's been out for a while, actually. I'm just super late because that's my brand, I guess. I am feeling multiple ways about the song. Like, I'm nervous because Lady Gaga has never really been an artist that I super enjoy listening to. I never really listened to her when I was growing up and so I'm like, mm, I don't know if I'm gonna like this, but obviously I wanna give it a chance because it's Blackpink, okay? Like, let's be real here, I'm only listening to this song because Blackpink is on it. And you know, before Kiss and Makeup, I didn't really like Dua Lipa's music, but when that song came out, I was like, oh my god, I love this. So who knows, the same thing might happen with Sour Candy. Although, I don't know, because I heard the little teaser that they posted this morning, and I didn't really like that 15 second chunk, but that's only 15 seconds, so we'll see. Anyway, let's just do it right now. Okay, here we go. Okay, is that Jenny or Lisa singing first? It's definitely not Lady Gaga. I know Lady Gaga's voice. Okay, that's Lisa. Rose! <laughs> I'm so surprised. I thought Lady Gaga was gonna be starting this song because it's her song and usually like somebody who's featured on it doesn't come in until later, but wow. A minute has already gone by. We're already almost halfway done, or already past halfway done with the song. Anyway. There she is. I can't believe the song is almost over. It's a minute and 48 seconds, and the song is only two and a half minutes. That makes me sad. Rosé! And it's over. Wow. Um, just based off of that one listen, I'm A, surprised that it was like all Blackpink basically. That's not what I was expecting it to be because it's Lady Gaga's song technically, whatever. But I definitely am going to have to listen to it more. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna listen to it in headphones and see, and I might actually watch a lyric video so I can see um, like who's singing when because there's some loud noises out that are making it hard to hear with just the computer audio. So I'm gonna listen to it in headphones real quick. I'm sad that the song is only two and a half minutes. I wish it could have been longer, but you know, I'm happy nonetheless that we got some form of new music from Blackpink because I've missed hearing their voices in like new stuff. So, listened to it a few times in headphones, watched the lyric video just to check that I was right about who was singing what part because I couldn't fully hear the first time I listened to it. And my first impressions are, it's definitely catchy. It's definitely already stuck in my head, like the beat and just the lyrics, because there aren't that many of them. It's very repetitive, but it's not like the most mind-blowingly incredible song I've ever heard in my life. And that's all. Like, I, I'll, I'm still gonna listen to it because it's catchy, um, but it's not like so new and like wild that I want to like talk about it with everybody ever that I ever talk to you know like it's not at that level but I am happy that there is in some form new music from Blackpink hopefully now that this has been released we can get their teasers for their comeback itself um but we'll see but yeah that's just my first opinion of the song now, I don't want to say it's not as catchy as Kiss and Makeup but like, I just wish the song were longer. Like, Kiss and Makeup, like it feels very short and kind of like an interlude type song for the rest of the album. Obviously, 
it's not out yet, so I don't know. Um, but yeah, those are my thoughts on sour candy. Like I said, I still will be listening to it because it's it's catchy. Like I'm gonna want to listen to it because it's already stuck in my head. Like I can hear the beat already. Like, and I've only listened to it three times. So there's that. But yeah, let me know what you thought of Sour Candy. Do you love it? Do you not like it? That's all.